labial, one millimeter bone lingual, right. Right. two millimeter from natural tooth implant, three millimeter bitten implant. Okay. Right. So since the bone is thin, I rather put a three mm implant, yes. ten mm long. Mm. Okay. I'll put a QSE, three point zero ten flatness. Okay, so this is my QS kit, but you've seen this is my old QS kit. The brand new one is phenomenal, you see that, okay? This is my old one, but I still use them. These are my old drills. They are still uh, serving me very, very well. So I'll continue to use it as long as they cut. The moment they become a little blunt also, you need to throw them away. Don't heat bone. You remember what I told you about heating bone yesterday, yeah? All the things you're very much aware of. Pain nahi hoga. So, since I'm putting a 3.0 implant, only one drill I need to use is a yellow, the DOS one, is the one with the yellow, is a drill I use for every single implant when we start the procedure at about 12,000 RPM, sufficient coolant fluid, keep the 3 millimeter distance, get somewhere there, and just go vertically down. Pumping motion, up and down, up and down, that is enough. That finish the osteotomy, not a drop of blood. Can I have the implant please? 3.0, QSE, the place of the test. Uh, the placement aid for QSE is different from that of QOS. Dr. Sanjay, Achha, Sanjay? Uh, Sanjay, I wanted you to see this QS implant so that the implant you can look at the abutment head. But uh, shoulder beam. So you have a definite margin where you can finish your prosthesis. Okay? The QS implant does not have a shoulder and, and, and the abutment head is not shoulder. So the QS implant, the delivery system is such. I will hold it, I don't have to touch the implant, I will just break it, the implant is in my hand, and you have seen this so many times yesterday, that this looks like child's play, and believe me it is. Sir, uh, but three is the diameter, only one drill is enough. One drill is enough, when three is the diameter, one drill is enough. Then I told you, a couple of turns down, look at the implant, buccolingual, mesiotistal. Uh, in the camera, does it look okay to you? Yes. Wait, no, can I go ahead and just uh, turn it inside now? Yeah. But now you'll find I can turn, but now I can't turn anymore. Okay? Then I will use my ratchet. The amount of power talk ratchet. Yesterday I demonstrated to you how you need to have a 14 Newton centimeter torque. Uh, for uh, good primary loading, okay? It shows you that the implant has got sufficient primary stability. So your ratchet has got in and out written on it, in is facing towards you, open, turn, wait, one, two, three, turn, wait, one, two, three, because you don't want to heat up the bone, don't go very fast. I told you this is nothing but glorified carpentry, yeah? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think it's going in pretty much okay and straight. The position is parallel. And yeah, but then if I, if, supposing if I want a lingual, I can just cut it off and you know, I can tap the abutments, it's all right, you see. But you may be right. Might be slightly lingual, okay? But it's okay. But the beauty is, yeah. then you keep going, keep going. Yeah. You should be able to see the shoulder, sir. Yeah. Doctor? No, sometimes you get this, eh? Now what is happening to me? Let me tell you. I'm getting a spin in the implant. The thread is not caught deep enough at the bottom. What I can do, if that happens sometimes, 
Right? It never happened yesterday for any of the cases, but if that happens, don't worry. Open this drill so that the implant can catch up again at the at the at the, at the bottom at the bottom there. <coughs> Now, after seating, normally it never happens, you will get complete torque. But in this case, even at this position, my implant is turning yes. round and round. You see that? Now, I may have two choices. Either to go to 3.7, 12, okay? Yeah, after removing this. Or change the position. Change the position slightly and make a new osteotomy nearby. Remember, this is autoclave. This is a sterile container. Okay? You can always store in your implant there. Yeah. Open. What should I do? Before I change the site of osteotomy, I will try to get a little kind of a drill here. This should be 12. In my opinion, this should be a 12 millimeter long implant. I am going to now, sorry for this, but I have only at my disposal a 3.0, 3.010 KOSE. And since I wanted to demonstrate, I am just changing my osteotomy size. Not at all a big deal. Okay. Just flapless procedure. I made a new osteotomy next to that. The small puncture is going to heal up very quickly in a day's time. Putting the same implant in the yes, I can put the same implant. Yes, no problem. This patient, this implant is definitely acceptable to this patient, okay? Yes. Open. Okay? Okay. 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 Yes, I have come exactly at the gum level with the shoulder. Yeah. Now, if you see carefully, yeah, you have the shoulder where you can finish a prosthesis very nicely. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Otherwise, in a QS implant, you must bring the crown margin nicely meeting there. Okay. With a knife edge. But I can, I can have a ready shoulder. Now I want to place the next implant here. I will put a, the bone is definitely wider. So let me put a 4.18 or something there, all right? Yes. The protocol, take care of the nerve. Nerve, take care of the nerve. For, unfortunately what's happened that I've got this camera here. My X-ray machine is there, it cannot come to the left side of the patient. The computer's not working today, so this thing is part of the game. Okay, thanks. So I will know, it's okay. I, I will play it safe. Because it is a supporting implant. You see? 4.18. The drill, yes. The drilling protocol for 4.1 is first is a yellow drill or a 3.0 implant. Then comes the black drill for the 3.7 implant. Then comes the red drill for the 4.1 implant. <laughs> yes, gradually, always, always, always. That's the protocol in implantology. You don't drill 4.1 directly at any time. And if I was going to use a pipe, I would use this drill. 
Okay. You can see it in the camera? Yes. Yeah. See the green one. Alright? Because we have it in 5 millimeter also. But in this case the bone does not appear to be hard. And I told you the bone caps are there in the in the, in the, in the, in the, in the kit. Bone expansion screw is nothing but the implant, it is not surface roughened. And if the bone is hard, don't fight with the bone, don't exceed 40 newton centimeter torque, avoid micro cracks in the bone. So put the bone expansion screw, take out the bone expansion screw, put in the implant. Okay, it will go with ease and good comfort. Now there, 4.1. Uh, yeah. So you saw the packaging of the implant, outer sterile packaging, second bottle, <coughs> then I use, that's, that's something we do with the button. Okay, and there are, okay, yesterday I forgot to tell you, can you see the three grooves? Yeah. Now yesterday there was a question, now what if I don't want to cement the temporary? We have a plastic sleeve that clicks into this groove on the top. So put the plastic sleeve and make acrylic process inside. And then you can tuck, tuck, tuck. It goes inside and then you can tuck, 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 tuck. Okay? Yeah. So that has been designed for that particular purpose. I will now take the implant here, open wider. I can yeah. So, very beautiful point. If the patient can open too wide, we have got a placement aid which is short. So, allows you to insert the implant. Open, open, Akram. To certain depth. Ah, okay. Good. Yeah, so always take up the 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 replacement aid and look. Always look. Because you can still change the angulation of the implant. You see, before it's inserted. But if you have gone 80%, then you can change it, yeah? How to change in the mid course? Mid course, you can change the while I'm turning, I can just give it a little different angle. Yeah, okay. it's, it's, it's not a big problem. Ah. Okay, 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 it's finished. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Good, open. <coughs> Take the back of a mirror handle. Then a mirror square one. Yeah. Open. Okay, huh? Yeah. Okay. So two implants placed flapless. A bridge four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be predictable. They ignored the first ostrotomy. Look at the sound. You must get this kind of sound, metallic. Yes, sir. Here and the other one. Bite before the patient goes. See the patient is biting onto the implant, the KOSC, open. All we will do is take a cross cut carbide bird and cut this. Yeah. Screen. Cross cut carbide. The bottom of the Vicky head. The bottom of 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 the because you know, how much you reduce the height means you need you got clearance you need, okay? Yes. Only that much. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay, open please. Ah. It has to always be cut with a cross cut bird. Yes, cross cut carbide bird. Yes, CR6B4, titanium alloy. But it cuts nicely with a cross cut carbide bar. Pretty well cut.